We hear a lot about diabetes, but what exactly is this? Here to break it all down for us is Dr. Munanathan with Omni Family Health. It's so good to see you. It's good to be here. So tell me the difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes. This is the two that we hear the most about. Sure. Type 1 diabetes is usually found in younger individuals. You have cells of the pancreas called beta cells, and for some reason, these stop working. When they stop working, your blood sugar level goes up, and then you have the problems with diabetes. We don't really know exactly why this happens, but we believe it to be an autoimmune process. Type 2 diabetes, we see when the body's resisting insulin, so it's not using it like it's supposed to. And when that happens, the blood from the, the sugar from the blood is not taken up by the cells, and then so it accumulates in the bloodstream. This can happen for a long time, and then eventually the pancreas might even stop producing insulin, and then you could be insulin-dependent type 2 diabetic. This happens due to unhealthy habits, excessive weight gain, lack of exercise, stress, and even smoking. If someone has diabetes, what are the symptoms they'll be experiencing? The most common symptoms are frequent urination, so having to go to the bathroom often. A lot of individuals go to the bathroom a lot at nighttime, and that could be one symptom. Increased thirst as well, so you're just as, you're very thirsty. You just need a lot of water, a lot of liquids. And then increased appetite, so you're just always feeling hungry all the time. If your diabetes or if your sugar goes unchecked for a long time, then you can have complications and symptoms because of that. So you could have cardiovascular problems, you could have a stroke, you could have kidney problems, neuropathy, and even eye problems as well. And is there anything that we can do to prevent diabetes or improve our blood sugar if you already have diabetes? If you're already diabetic, it's important to take your medications. But even for them and for patients who are worried about becoming diabetic, it's important to look at your lifestyle. You know, are you eating healthy? Are you eating a lot of plants like fruits and vegetables? Are you eating whole foods instead of refined and processed foods? And then also, um, you know, are you avoiding junk food like, you know, french fries and uh, sodas and chips? That's important. And then exercise is really important too. To get 30 minutes of exercise daily, depending on your fitness level. Managing your stress is also very important. Stress plays a lot of roles in your body. And then if you're stressed, it's important to get the therapy that you need. Also important to, you know, practice mindfulness and breathing techniques and all that too. And how does Omni Family Health support people who have diabetes? At Omni, we have a really strong program where we take care of our patients from even before they're diagnosed. So we're always looking at their blood, um, their blood test to see if they're pre-diabetic or if there's any other issues there as well. We give them lifestyle interventions, so we give them the advice that they need and we provide follow-up so we can kind of follow up on them. We also provide home delivery service, so if you take medications, then we can bring those medications to your home. We also provide telehealth services, so if you have questions, if you want to be able to manage your sugar from the comfort of your own home, we provide that as well. And then we have dietitians and health educators on our team that can give you the education that you need. Dr. Moon and Nathan, thank you so much for joining me today and sharing all of these helpful tips. And for any further information, you can go to Omni Family Health's website or give them a phone call.